we know that if you're slightly distracted, that is going to increase your perception reaction time, which would then lead into a longer distance to stop and inability to react to the hazards on the road. It's one thing to text behind the wheel while parked in a parking lot, but new research out of the University of Alberta is using artificial intelligence to find out just how bad distracted driving is in Edmonton. It's a simple trailer with cameras, able to catch different views. The computer then able to detect if a driver is using a device, the first time it's ever used in Canada. The data around distracted driving in Canada has been a little patchy. We, we don't really understand how big of a problem it is. Professor Karim El Busani says until now, the only distracted driving data we have is from tickets, often given out by police officers at red lights. But this gives insight into people distracted while the vehicle is in motion. With this being a research project, there's no plans for enforcement. But elsewhere in the world, this same technology is being used to ticket. Texting on his phone while his passenger steers the car. In Australia, the, the reduction in traffic fatalities has dropped dramatically. In the states that incorporate our system, they attribute that directly to media providing information to the public about the dangers of distracted driving. Awareness and repercussions through tickets in the mail. The big difference from photo radar for speed is all positive hits for distracted driving are checked by a human. The tech can also be used by law enforcement in real time. Sending information down to a police officer who will get information that the vehicle's approaching and pull people over and write them a ticket. Well, the company behind the AI says it can be used to check for seat belts or even potential impaired driving. This research, funded by the U of A along with Edmonton Police, is focusing on the use of devices by drivers. And for this type of tech to ever be used for enforcement, it would require a change to provincial laws. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.